Well, the Falcons and the Panthers faced off yet again. Faced off 11 days ago. We know how that ended. A Pinero's field goal. Kind of messing up and just completely missing. But now P.J. Walker takes on Marcus Mariota. Of course, there's also the added factor of Cordero Patterson in the running game for the Falcons. And somebody, meaning the Falcons, could potentially be leading the NFC South at the end of the night if they beat the Panthers. But they got to beat the Panthers. got to beat the Panthers. Al Michaels should not be subjected to this nonsense. He should not be, because this is another laughable, laughable Thursday night game that I do not care about. I have not cared about it since like week one or two. I don't. I've only, I think I've only watched one. I think I've only watched one Thursday night game. In all honesty, I think I have. But anyway, we got a game in Germany between the Seahawks. So Gino, Kenneth Walker, Tyler Lockett, you know. The whole crew, I don't know if DK Metcalf is playing. I'm, I'm pretty sure he might be. I don't know. Uh, and they take on Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, this is this is really something, you know. This is really something. Like, the Buccaneers still kind of struggling. They barely were able to get that win last week against the Rams. Seahawks continue to show up and show out. In the best way possible. Shaq Barrett also is injured too, by the way. So that that kind of sucks for Tampa Bay. And this one again in Germany. I, I swear we've had... Have we had a game in Germany before? I don't remember. In any case, it's happening. I don't know if, I don't know if I'll be up early for this, but I mean, I'll try. Definitely something to watch early in the morning. Vikings Bills. This is a good one, you know. Um, now Josh Allen injured his elbow, which is weird. Um, it's also other injuries, you know, that you know the Bills have. You know, that's just um, it's kind of it's kind of just there. And the Vikings seven and one like. I don't know what in the world kind of team this Vikings team is, but they quiet again. They were quietly able to get out of Washington with a win last week, and they were they are quietly coming into Orchard Park this week, just sitting here at seven and one, just sitting here casually leading the NFC North like it's nobody's business, just casually leading it. You know, like ain't nothing, ain't nothing going on here. Lions Bears, that one should be interesting. Jared Goff taking on. Justin Fields. Justin Fields looking like the better quarterback right now. The Lions, their defense has been playing better. The Bears offense has been showing out too the past few weeks. So this one's gonna be interesting to see. It was you know, again these two teams have you know had different identities the last couple weeks. So we'll see what happens here in this one. That's gonna be an interesting one. Chiefs Jags, ooh. I wonder. I wonder what Trevor Lawrence is going to do against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. We all know the Chiefs continue to win. Jags, they're, they're, they're still working out the kinks, but hey, they got three wins on the season. You know, they can make this a game. They can definitely make this a game. Dolphins, Browns is another one. That's also pretty interesting. Um, like, what, what do you want? What do you want me to say about Jacoby Brissett and Tua Tagovailoa? in this game. What do you want me to say about Tariq Hill and Jalen Waddle on offense for the Dolphins? What do you want me to say about Amari Cooper, you know, on offense for the Browns? And also Nick Chubb. This one could be interesting because of how both these offenses play and how both these defenses have been prone to giving up points. I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on in this game because the Dolphins, you know, they were scoring in bunches last week. They might be scoring in bunches this week. So we'll see. Giants Texans is an interesting one. You know, Daniel Jones, Davis Mills, but Daniel Jones is looking better. Davis Mills not so much. He's tanking. He's helping the Texans tank go real well right now. 
Um, I, I, you know, the Giants' defense is a meat grinder to go through anyway. So I don't, I don't know if David Mills is going to have a good day. We'll see. We'll see if he can, or at least try. T.J. Watt might be back for the Steelers. Can he pick it? He, he should be able to do something against the Saints' defense. You know? You know? What, what are they going to do? Like what, 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 what? You know what? What? What are the? What are the Steelers gonna do, man? Like what, no, no. Real question: What are the Steelers going to do? Like this team confuses me. At least Chris Olave's, you know, showing out for the Saints. But like, what are the Steelers? What have the Steelers done for us all this season? They they just looked sad, downright disrespectful in every facet. Like who is this team right now? I don't know what this team is. I don't like it. I don't want to watch it. I'm not looking at that. Titans, Broncos. This one's something. Because Malik Willis could be going out there and starting again. And hopefully he does a lot better than what he did on Sunday night. Because that's where he only completed like five or six passes. And I don't think any of them were to the wide receivers. Which is disappointing. We all know about Broncos country. They need to go hide, because this one, this one here, Broncos fans, this game, y'all going to need some help, going to need some help, got to make this interesting, Broncos, got to make it interesting, we'll see if they can, Raiders Colts is another game that's happening, um, oh god, the Raiders defense is terrible, then again, the Colts, are led by Jeff Saturday now, who has like no experience, like literally no experience. Like you think somebody would, you know, with coaching experience would come in in the interim, but no, no, Jeff Saturday is in, and this is wild. And also Dan Schneider, he's getting sued. So, but that that's for later. That's for another time. In any, in any case, we got the Cowboys and the Packers, and I don't know why Fox keeps hyping this game up. We know the Packers are terrible, but I, 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 I but watch, watch something stupid happen in this game. You know, as a Cowboys fan, you gotta, you always gotta hope for the worst. You know, real Cowboys fans always gotta hope for the worst, especially playing against Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, the Packers' defense is absolutely, you know, wrecked. You know. Injuries, just getting steamrolled, you know. I mean, there's just all sorts of different things going on. You know, the Cowboys have their own sets of problems. They have, you know, some run game issues on the defensive side of the ball. Wide receiver issues still at times, you know. Dak still trying to adjust. I mean, it's still a process of him getting back in the flow of things to 100 and 10%, not 100%, but 110%. So, in any case, you know, Green Bay, they got to try to do better this week, you know, at home. This cannot be a case of, you know, them just completely, you know, flipping themselves on their own face here. Then you got the Rams and the Cardinals again, two teams that are just struggling to go on. I don't know what's going on. You know, it seems like, you know, there, there's just, I, I think, you know, I think, uh, let's see. Mm. I think John Wolford might start for the Cardinals. So yeah, we got another weird quarterback situation. Um, I'm not sure what happened to Kyler Murray. So, uh, yeah, he's got like a hamstring injury, so uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but hopefully Kyler's okay. Wolver might start, and you know the Rams defense—they're they're pretty good. We all know we all know who leads that defense. Wagner and Donald. I mean, them boys there. Something else to tell you. Sunday night looking pretty interesting, you know. The 49ers have been able to rise up a little bit. The Chargers still kind of inconsistent, but they're 
well over 500 right now. Justin Herbert, he's gonna he's gonna have to you know you know continue to look like Justin Herbert of old. He's gonna have to continue to look like the Justin Herbert that did not get a rib injury that's been properly affecting him for quite some time now. You know. The uh, I don't know what this Chargers defense is going to do against CMC though. Something's got to give. Christian McCaffrey, he he's been, you know, before you know something happens to him, probably, you know, he's gonna he might light up the bolts. We'll see if the bolts can actually make a stop, but I don't know. I, I'm not seeing it. Do y'all see it? I hope the Bolts can and make this a really competitive game, because otherwise, you know, it, it's 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 gonna have to be something. You know, we all know this 49ers defense can also cook. They can also cook. So they so the offensive line and the wide receivers and stuff like that. They gotta give Herbert time. They gotta give Herbert something. And then the Eagles and the Commanders again, definitely interesting, interesting game. You know, where, you know, the commanders have just looked improved in every facet with Taylor Heineke at the helm. Eagles undefeated with Jalen Hurts. You know, again, both these teams have really good defenses. You know, like the Eagles, they take the ball away. Washington doesn't take the ball away, but, you know, they're physical. They're really physical. They really make the stops when they count. So, it's going to come down to that in this Monday night game that I think will be the first Monday night game I've watched in quite some time. Definitely going to be looking at this game. It's a key NFC East game that's going to decide things. The Eagles have to stay undefeated. By the way, the Eagles want to stay undefeated. Can they stay undefeated? We'll find out on Monday night. Until then... Enjoy uh, whatever that Thursday night shit show is, because that's going to be a terrible game, I guarantee you that. Um, by the way, tonight and going into the morning will be the final few videos here. We'll be out of here in the morning, so or rather in the afternoon tomorrow, so thankfully I do not have to see this terrible apartment anymore. I'll just say that right now. <laughs> Um, college football preview is going to come out in a couple hours. Um, I'm going to put it out um, when I wake up in the morning. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to do it real quick because, again, the games that matter start on Friday. So I'm going to get that out and get it out for you guys in the morning. I don't feel like doing it tonight. Uh, I want to rest my body and go to sleep. So. Enjoy the NFL tonight, and we'll come back at you very early tomorrow morning.